think Eau Claire has always been a very arty, you know, very progressive, forward-thinking kind of place with regards to the arts and creativity and creative expression. So the university program, uh, you know, run by my dad at the time was was there and, and Robert Baca and and um, I mean it was really really amazingly fertile and healthy. I mean we had there was three or four big bands, all kinds of small groups. Um, you know, we had the, the Twin Cities nearby. We go drive up there and hear concerts, and um, artists would come through to play at the jazz festival, you know, mm -hmm. yearly, or uh, even in, in the late 70s and early 80s at the Joint. You know, sure. you, right. you remember like all the, you know, A-list groups would come through. I had a wonderful vocal coach out of York University. His name is Bobby Fenton. Um, when I met him, he was about 85 years old, and he was the vocal coach at this in this program. He told me, you know, to really start. He was the first person to tell me to really start paying attention to the poetry of a song. It was very helpful to have someone say, you know, don't worry so much and get stuck in the music. Remember that you know you have a different role to play. You have a story to tell. You know, you're speaking to people, almost literally. Um, so, you know, make it about what it means to you and connect with the audience. For me, um, I, I got just a lot of encouragement, you know, um, a lot of support um, and guidance in terms of, uh, you know, let's say if I wanted to study jazz, what, what does it mean to study this art form? Well, jazz is more about self-expression and, you know, making up kind of your own things within certain kinds of, you know, a certain system of rules and, and, and guidelines and things like that. But so much more of it is done by ear. So like a, you know, a, a good jazz uh, teacher would encourage his students to, um, to, to do a lot of listening, you know, to, to listen to historical great you know jazz recordings to go out and hear live music but also to you know to really just you know inspire students to just just be yourself to like whatever whatever that you know that that voice that you have inside to, to learn to to speak it more fluently you know your own dialect of music You know, if you're looking for something specific, sometimes you'll find it, sometimes you really won't. It's just the journey, you know? Sure. Um, and you, you, know, you meet people in so many different ways and, and come across uh, musicians in, in different ways. So I think it's, it's important to really stay open, uh, open to playing with people who challenge you, whether you know, they're just uh, head and shoulders you know, beyond your own capabilities at that time that you start, you know, performing with them mm -hmm. or whether they just drive you completely nuts because you know they're <laughs> it's it, it, it is like an opposites attract kind of situation mm -hmm. um, great music can come out of you know situations where there's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences you know take the study of the music seriously um, mm -hmm. but don't be too serious yeah. you know what I mean like, Don't forget to have fun. Yeah. <laughs>